All right, we are live. All right. Well, hello, Jessica. Hello, Carrie, and hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are very excited to share with you how to incorporate Young Living Essential Oils in your back to school routine. So I am Jessica Steinhoff and I am the self-proclaimed well-oiled military mom. And I started with Young Living in 2016 and I have never looked back and I love all things oils and I'm I'm really, really, really excited, like I said, to share with you how we are going to incorporate them in our homeschool routine this year. So over to you, Carrie, to share a little bit about you and jump right into the class. All right. Well, um, my name is Carrie Capus. <laughs> I know my screen name says Kennedy, but it's Carrie. Uh, I've been with Young Living since 2007 or 8, 2008. Um, actually it might've been a little before that, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> and I took a break and, um, actually hopped back in, I guess uh, it was around 2013, 14. So, um, I love, love Young Living. Um, it's been, it's been very helpful in my journey. Um, I run a group called um, Walking in Faith and Frankincense. So that's just a bit about me, and I'll hop right into the, the class to talk awesome. about back to school wellness. So um, basically, you know, back to school time is a very exciting, but it can also be stressful, right? <laughs> because there's lots of us who are stay-at-home moms. There are some of us who are um, working moms and with all that's going on, we're work from home moms, stay-at-home moms, do all the things mom. <laughs> or do or all even <laughs> grandparents or college <laughs> kids ready to go to college, parents, yep. grandmas, you know, all the things. Absolutely. Are going back to school. <laughs> do for sure. So there's lots of new experiences. There's new routines, um, new exposures and challenges, and all of it requires some major maintenance for our bodies, especially now. Um, and again, just want to say welcome. Uh, and I know like I said, I know this, this school year is gonna, is looking very different from years past. Um, but I think we need to, um, come together to support our kids by giving them the tools they need to stay vibrant, strong, and living above that wellness line, right? Amen. Yeah. So, we're talking about Young Living, right? We all know that there's dozens and dozens of other brands out there to choose from uh, when it comes to health and wellness products. Um, but what makes Young Living different from the rest is its seed to seal promise to us. Um, you won't find this guarantee uh, and peace of mind with any other company. You just won't. Um, you can expect that Young Living will provide you with only the best, uh, the best plant material that is grown on corporately owned farms or carefully vetted partner farms um, that you can visit. And I'm pretty sure there aren't any other companies or brands out there that allow you to go and visit their farms. Um, in fact, you could even call some of them and ask them, hey, where are your farms? Can I come visit? So that's a challenge to you. <laughs> um, but they do sustainable farming and sourcing practices, providing the purest oil, oils, I should say. Uh, great care is taken to preserve and protect natural resources. Um, they hand weed fields and there is zero, zero use of pesticides um, oils that retain all their natural constituents and therapeutic properties. 
uh, use of food grade distillers with state of the art design and distillation methods, um, low pressure and low temperature distil distillation without the use of solvents or synthetic chemicals. That's huge, y'all, because you can go into a store and pick up a bottle of lemon and it's going to say 100% pure, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you that that oil is not 100% lemon. There are fillers in that, oil, in that oil and you should not be, well, I would not recommend diffusing it. Um, you cannot uh, use it internally, whereas um, Young Living has two different types of, um, I don't know, bottling, I guess, like the white label bottles. Jessica, do you have one? Yeah. <laughs> let me grab um, two, the, the, let me grab them for my show. Yeah, you. like if you have lemon or something. Am I showing it on the screen? Can you see? I got it. So, a yellow label and a white label. Yep. And do you want to talk a little bit about the, yeah, the sure. difference between the two real quick? Yep. So what the difference here, oops, sorry, I'm getting a it's call. Right. There we go. Um, Thanks, hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, where'd my slides go? Gotta love that. Um, <laughs> Well, in an audible, resume share. There we go. Okay, so um, what the difference is here? Goodness. So everybody's just wanting to call me right at the right time, the wrong time. Okay, so why we have two separate labels is because in order to comply with labeling laws in the United States, the FDA. Um, the FTC, right? So the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. They, they say you can't label a product for internal use and for aromatic or for um, topical use. So the way Young Living does it is we have two separate labels. But why that is important is because this is the same oil in the, in the two different labels, but our oils are so, so pure that you can take them internally like Carrie was saying. So this lemon is just lemon. And when she was saying, if you saw a lemon on the shelf at like the grocery store or Bed Bath & Beyond or, those oils are adultered because you don't know where they came from. You didn't go to the farm. There's, there's no way to know what's in there. Most often they use chemical solvents on their plants. So you just can't trust them. And I wouldn't even put them like Carrie said in my diffuser because you don't know what was on those lemons. You don't know what was on that peppermint. You don't even know what's on that lavender. So it's like taking well, an orange juice and diluting it 99% and then just drinking, you know, a little bit and actually not getting any benefits. So you might as well not even waste your money. So that's why I choose Young Living <laughs> because it is the best of the best. So. Exactly. So there's rigorous testing on each batch uh, by internal labs and third party facilities. And Jessica and I have gone um, actually to one of the labs um in utah and and it's amazing it really is it's it's just amazing the building is beautiful um and it just state-of-the-art equipment um the oils that are oils that are carefully reviewed through every step of production in order to meet or exceed industry safety and purity standards um like beyond organic that's what we're talking about here um, and the best part, if the oils or products do not meet these high standards, they are rejected and will not be bottled as a Young Living product. That's amazing. That's awesome. Like, I, uh, I think it was a couple of years, right, ago? Um, was it 2016 or yep. 17? Right. They had a, they had a, um, I don't know, I guess a shipment of peppermint come in and it did not meet the standards and they turned it away. Yes. That's, that's a lot of peppermint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a lot of peppermint. <laughs> so that is this, the amazing and awesome um, uh, seed to seal guarantee. And I'm sorry about all the pings. Um, 
So now everybody's wanting to know what's going on with Jess and Carrie right now. I said, we're teaching. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So using essential oils with kids. Uh, before we dive into the specifics, let's just discuss using essential oils with the kids, right? They're, they are our precious, precious babies, and we only want the best for them. Uh, according to some schools of thought, um, oils shouldn't be used on children. Uh, do yourself a favor and do not go looking online for advice on that topic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will scare yourself into not using them. And remember what we both said, not all essential oils are created equally. Uh, Young Living takes great care to ensure you are getting the best of the best. Oils that are safe to use on and around our, your kiddos. Um, we just have to take into account their smaller bodies and learning immune systems. So. Um, I know from my standpoint, and I'm sure Jess will share a little bit with you, but I've been using um, Young Living Essential Oils on, on our daughter since, since she was born. So um, I love it when she has something going on, uh, you know, upset tummy or something like that, and she'll come to me. Uh, now she's old enough that she just goes and grabs it herself. Um, but, you know, when she was younger, she'd come in and she, mommy, I need some, you know, I need some peppermint. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and I just, you know, teach them young, right? Put, put a drop in their hand and let them rub their bellies. So, and then obviously when she was younger, it was with a dab of um, a carrier oil, like uh, coconut oil. Mostly I used coconut oil um, so that because peppermint is a driving, a driver, it's considered a driver, it's a hot oil. So it does heat up a little bit and I didn't want it to be uncomfortable for her, so. So just to kind of um, hit that point a little, like drive that home <laughs> is, you know, the amount of oils you're gonna use on your babies, your their bodies are smaller, right? So Carrie kind of mentioned that, but you know, Capron is five and he, and when we started using oils, he was only 15 months. So the amount of oils I would use on Capron when he was 15 months versus, you know, me, I would use less drops and more carrier oil. So, um, you just need to dilute, dilute, dilute. And we always say when you start with oils, you always start low and slow anyways. So they're smaller bodies. So you're going to start low and slow -er than you would even for yourself. So um, the oils are very potent because we said there's a they are the purest that there are because of the seed to seal quality. Um, so when you're using them on your kids, you just want to treat them just like you would any other thing that you're using um, like as a therapeutic grade and therapeutic value. Like you're not gonna just, you know, give them um, the same amount of, you know, thing that you would give yourself for any upset tummy, right? You would give them a smaller amount. So the same thing with your essential oils. So. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and I'll, you know, again, I'll just reiterate with the safety tips. Um, like Jess said, when in doubt, dilute. Um, there's no hard and fast uh, rules with regards to dilution, so don't stress over it. <laughs> um, you just want to make sure, like she said, start slow um, since their systems are more sensitive than us adults. So a good place to test out oils is on their feet um, or and even on yours. But since we're talking about kids, <laughs> let's, let's stick with the uh, testing it on the, on the kids' feet. So for ages um, zero to one, start off with one drop of essential oil and um, about eight drops of a carrier oil. You could use um, Young Living V6 oil, you could use almond oil, coconut oil, olive oil. It's just, I mean, there's so many different um, carrier oils out there that you can use. I would suggest though that you use an organic one. Yes, since yeah, we're we have a lot of choices out there nowadays. Right, right. Since we're you know wanting to be healthy, <laughs> so choose healthy. So, and then for ages two to six, 
you may want to try one drop of essential oil and add three drops of carrier. And then for ages seven to 11, try one drop of essential oil and add one drop of carrier. And then for ages 12 plus, um, you can just use your best judgment based on the oil you choose to use. Um, the second thing is be cautious when you use hot oils topically, okay? Um, an example of hot oils and blend includes cinnamon, clove, lemongrass, oregano, um, thyme, exodus 2, and thieves. So for some people, peppermint's cooling sensation can also be a little intense. So um, those oils uh, will need heavier dilution and apply to an area that area that's less sensitive like the bottoms of their feet yeah. um, and I have a great tip for your like littler ones like the ones that are going to put their feet in their mouth you might want to apply the oils to their spine yes I was just going to say that good yeah we're on the same wavelength um, and then also wash your hands after applying these oils because you don't want to accidentally you know touch their face and you know, just, you don't want to get it in their eyes or your eyes or whatever. So, but if you do, don't worry because you can put, um, you can pull the essential oil out with the fatty carrier oil like peppermint oil. So like for us women, um, at, in the evenings when we're getting rid of all of our makeup, right? Um, I use a little, uh, a makeup remover pad and I dab, um, dab it in my coconut oil and wipe the mascara off. So I'm not worried about it, you know, burning or stinging my eyes. So, and then third, you are going to uh, start low, um, start with, uh, excuse me, start slow when diffusing. So start with just a few drops or less when diffusing around kids. And, at, and then you can see how they respond to the oils. You can increase the amount as you see fit. Um, and if you're in a more open room, you can use more. If you diffuse in a smaller, more compact area, use less. So everyone's body has different needs and responds to oils in his or her, um, their own unique way. So start slow. Um, don't let the rules with essential oils overwhelm you. <laughs> Do what you think um, and feel comfortable with. Uh, the oils will do their job, okay? Um, and then lastly, involve your kids in the oil process. Start them young, you know? Uh, let them smell the oils, you know, get the bottles, let them smell it. Um, let them pick out their favorites and whip up their own rollers and recipes and they'll love getting to participate and have a say in what oil, you know, what gets used. And um, I, I don't know, I, just, I think that's an awesome thing when you're not having to worry about, um, you know, giving them an OTC and they come to you for say peppermint or lavender um, because they know what it, it helps them with. Right. Exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. So uh, on that note, I don't. I don't think we've ever used anything other than tummy jars on Catherine for an upset tummy. Like I don't even know what, what we would use because when he gets an upset tummy, he just says, "Mommy, where's the tummy jars?" Because we've only used that. So yeah. it's really kind of cool. <laughs> it is. It is, and and you know the new moms now. Um, they're so lucky because we do have that tummy jives for kids, which is already diluted. And um, I mean, you know, when I first had our daughter, um, all we had was die jives. And and die jives, it, 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 it's, it's, it's considered a hot one. So it, it heats up and, um, you know, all of it's all pretty admit, pungent. It is. It's pungent. And, and I'll admit that, you know, she didn't really care for that one. Um, so we learned our lesson with that and, and ended up diluting it with, for her. <laughs> so, but I'm so glad they have, or that we have Tommy Jai's now. That's awesome. Okay, and the, let's see, the importance of daily routines and consistency. You can't just 
you know, do it once and expect that it's going to be good for you for ever and ever. Amen. Um, it's to no, it's important to note that um, essential oils are not designed as a one-time use kind of product. They're part of your wellness toolbox and are best utilized by our bodies when they're used regularly and consistently. Um, most bodies take about three months of consistent use uh, and su specific support to um, rejuvenate them. So use them every day, make them part of your daily routine and your kids' routines. Um, this will also help empower your kids to use their oils on their own as they grow and become adults, which again is an awesome thing. So you don't have to like stand over them anymore because they have their own little oily shelf in their bathroom and you know it's stocked with the ones that they use most of the time and and uh, and yeah, it's awesome. I'll now we get to get into the next part is like my most important, like my funnest part of this class because we get to kick into the things that we use daily to kind of hit this next part home, like this part home. So I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So tips for using your oils daily. Have your oils out and visible because if they're in a cabinet somewhere, you're not going to use them. Okay. Um, so as the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. So keep them out there. Um, yeah, <laughs> keep, keep them on a stand, on a shelf, on a counter or wherever. I mean, I'm looking at my, uh, my oil, oil shelf in front of me um, and I have a couple back here <laughs> and I have some on my desk. I mean, I just, I have them all over. They're all over in my bathroom. They're all over in my daughter's bathroom. They're down in the kitchen. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. And same I know here. your house is the same. <laughs> same here. Yep. It makes yeah. it really easy when Catherine does have something going on or I have something going on. Um, most often it's like, where's the lavender? Where's this? I usually have one or two or three in the house. And it's like, where did I put that? And then I'll find another open bottle somewhere because I, I end up having three open somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people will like... Um, in order to help them, uh, I guess, use them, so to speak, uh, they'll label them or they'll organize them in alphabetical order or they'll, they'll color, you know, um, color, organize them by color, which is, whew, I mean, it looks really pretty, <laughs> but I think for kids, maybe having them doing it, doing it, do it uh, alphabetically would be very helpful. I know for my oils that I have extras of, I have them in alphabetical order. Yeah. Um, OCD like that. Yeah. Uh, and I think I, it's safe to say that, you know, I can speak for you, Jess, that um, making rollers is like so fun. It really yeah. is. <laughs> it is so fun. Yes. It's one yeah. of my favorite things. I have to have one here, a little keychain one. Yeah. Um, the rollers are a quick, convenient way to dilute your oils and have them ready for application whenever or wherever you are um, and or whenever you need them. Uh, plus, they fit in backpacks, your purse, your pockets, anywhere, and they empower your kids to use them when their body needs them. I know I've I made several rollers that... Um, our daughter would keep in in her backpack. That's great. Capron's a little bit small and he hasn't taken any to school just yet because he um, was in pre-k um, but yeah we have a bunch around the house so he knows what's where and we when he's home he knows where to go. <laughs> Another great thing is you can pair your oils with other daily activities you're already accustomed to. Set a roller by your toothbrush so you apply it every morning. Um, have a bottle of oil and a carafe of water sitting next to your diffuser on your bedside table so you don't forget to diffuse at bedtime. Um, I, our daughter has her diffuser 
by her bed. I have a diffuser by my bed. I have one in the kitchen. I have one in the living room. They're just, they're all over the place. I have one in here. Um, but yeah, just set the rollers or sprays near the back door where you store your shoes or purse and use them on your way out. Um, and I know, ooh, here's another one. Like, uh, you know, when the kids get into the funky smelling stage <laughs> <laughs> and they have the smelly feet. Oh my God. It's awful. Purification, people. Purification. Either put a drop on, um, on, a, on a cotton ball and stick it in the, the toes of their shoes or you can whip up, get a spray bottle and um, put some drops of uh, purification and a little bit of uh, vodka. And I would recommend 80 proof or higher or witch hazel and add some water and shake it up and, and, uh, and spray those shoes because <laughs> those, little love feet, those little feet, they can stink boy. Oh my goodness. Just you wait. <laughs> Just well, I have a boy, so his feet are already sometimes a little bit stinky. So yeah, yeah. Oh, just get creative. That's that's the whole point. So I don't know if you want to add anything or so what we like to do when we Catherine sometimes is at that age where he needs a little bit of courage to get out the door. So Valor is our go-to. We have a roller of Valor. And then we made a roller with a crystal that encourages bravery. Um, and Catherine helped me make that. So he has two rollers, one that we swipe on his spine. Um, well, actually three. One of thieves that goes on his feet before we walk, we put his shoes on. Um, Valor up his spine. And then one that he made with um, tiger's eye on the, um, like, like on the roller part that goes on his wrists and um, all the oils that are in that roller are for bravery. So um, that roller we made together. So it's like, he knows that that's his like, get up the courage to go um, out the door to daycare. And so, that's what's so fun is you can do it with them and they love mixing the roller balls together or roller bottles together with you. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then we have a nightly routine and you know, all that kind of stuff, which is really, really fun. And um, he has gone through a stage of um, like a struggle with like bad dreams. So we love dream catcher at night that we put in his belly button and he calls it his happy dream oil. So he knows that. And so just getting into that consistency and that routine um, is, is really, really key. So that's fun. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Now this part's going to be really fun. We're going to go into what products to set up your home for a healthy home and beyond. Yeah. Our, well, you know, our homes are our sanctuaries, right? Especially, uh, especially right now. Um, yeah. It seems like we we're all spending a whole heck of a lot more time in our homes these days. Yeah. And you are the gatekeeper of the four walls of your home. Even when we are venturing out, uh, we know at some point we will be, um, but we still are the gatekeeper of what comes in our four walls. Um, and we always say our skin is our biggest organ, right? So mm -hmm. I love this slide. Um, these products are some of my favorites. Um, probably were some of the first ones that we were able to swap um, a lot of the reason that we chose or I was like really drawn to oils were because of Capron. You know, my draw to ditch and switch was because I wanted to look for a way to incorporate more natural products. And when I found Young Living, it was a one-stop shop for that and knew then, like a couple months in, I was like, whoa, you have all these kids products too. It was like, oh. Ah. So okay. <laughs> anything you want to add there? Um, just, you know, I think we really, I'm going to say this. I think you know, we really didn't know what we didn't know. Right. Right. Um, and we were using all these products that 
we like the smell of and, and all this, but now that you know better, you can do better. And um, I mean, it's, just, it's really sad because a lot of the products um, that we used to buy um, often contain um, ingredients that endanger us, right? And, and especially even more so to our kids because our bodies aren't the same. I mean, our bodies are the same, but they're different, right? So an adult is affected by ingredients. Um, I don't want to say less than, but a child's body is smaller. So the the ingestion, the, the take on of those ingredients is a lot more. Um, and their bodies are developing, right? We don't yeah. know what effect it's having on their little brains, on their little hormones. Their endocrine, on system, their, endocrine systems. End of, yes, on, on just what's, yeah, their neurological pathways. Um, we just do not know. And what Carrie said is key. We can't, un I always say it, and I know it's not proper grammar, but once you know something, you can't unknow it, right? Like, right. I don't know. So it's like, I could not, knowing what was in, oh, yeah, we're probably not supposed to name drop products, but knowing what was in the cleaner that you typically clean your shower with or your bathtub, um, knowing what was in that, I could not knowingly put Catherine's baby booty in there anymore. Um, because you can never get that grit out of the bathtub and you walk on that. It just never washes out completely. So knowing that I could go and get Thieves Household Cleaner and clean every surface of my home for $23 wholesale and grab that and just put it one cat hole in a spray bottle and clean every surface of my home or then put a little bit of a cat hole in some baking soda and do the same thing but get a plant-based cleaner and save money. Mm -hmm. and then put my baby's bottom in that yeah all from a company that I could trust like I was like I'm all in <laughs> sign me up take my money my $23 that I could use one bottle for six months like it was just a no-brainer for me I knew that this was something I needed to um needed to shout a from the rooftops but b be a part of um and have in my cupboard forever because it's just once you know it, you can't unknow it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what's in those products is hurting us. And when you have to put a mask on, <laughs> no pun intended with what's happening right now in our uh, world, but when you have to put a mask on to clean your bathroom or keep your kids out of your bathroom because you're cleaning it, that is not good. And I remember those days. I, know. I remember being pregnant and telling Chad, um, Hey, can you clean the bathroom? Because I'm pregnant and I can't be around those fumes. Yeah. What is wrong with us? I now I crave cleaning because it smells like Christmas when I clean my house. Right. Yeah. I never thought I'd say that. Um, I like, you know, I always like to wash my hands, but now when I go wash my hands with these foaming hand soap, it's just, it smells like Christmas. It's amazing. Um, can you, like the laundry soap you see here, I love these laundry soap. Not only does it clean great, it, lasts a really long time because it's concentrated but if I would have known what was in baby soap that I was buying at what was now ba then babies R Us with those coupons that you get when you're a new mom or you're a pregnant mom what was in there just that word fragrance alone you guys yeah is like over yeah. 300 chemicals synthetic chemicals and Thieves Laundry Soap is dye-free, synthetic, fragrance-free, and it's plants, and it's amazing plants. It's awesome, and it cleans great, and it smells like Christmas, right? And, I mean, if I would have known it was in that, that baby soap that I bought and washed Capron's clothes in, I am like, Ugh! but knowledge is power. Yeah. And you can start today, and you can't go back, right? But you can go forward, and so that's, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, we are just so, we are, we are marketed um, so hard and led to believe that even all natural products are safe for, for, for us and our families, when in reality, they aren't, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of the common household products can lead to health problems 
like eye and throat irritation and people are like, you know, they'll talk, they'll even talk to you about it, you know, oh, you know, my eyes are so irritated or, you know, I have this cough or whatever, not even realizing that it's the stuff that they're using. And so once they stop exactly. using it, exactly, their body purges that, detoxes it, and, and you're so much better. But, you know, let's um, talk a little bit about shampoo and lotion and bath gel and even toothpaste. These products that are marketed towards children, and these ones are, you know, we do have a baby line, but like, you, you these would be safe enough for babies and we just came out with a seedlings line but they, like I would use this on a baby but like all, all those fragrant super fragrant baby products are so not good for you because that fragrance alone is just so so and because your kid's skin and your baby's skin is so permeable because it's so new the newness of their skin your even my son being five his skin when you feel your child's skin and it's so soft mm -hmm. compared to ours that's like you yeah. know <laughs> I mean it, it's so permeable and these our products are just they really are all natural in regards to because they're full of plant goodness and that seed to silk quality um so it's just, it really does kick it up a notch. And that one-stop shopping is something that um, I just think is beyond reproach. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, and you know, you're like with the, the store-bought ones, you're, you're looking at like some of them cause headaches, respiratory issues, um, allergic reactions, uh, worsened asthma, and um, possibly even cancer. I mean, well, that's another story for another and, time. And really, I mean, you can watch one documentary and it's called Stink. I encourage you to go on Netflix and watch that. Yeah. Um, and don't just trust what we're saying. Go do your research. Um, I have done tons and tons of research myself and Stink is a good place to start. It is. It really is. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just talking about the ingredients, uh, they contain things like formaldehyde, um, parabens, phthalates, uh, um, triclosan, and yes. yeah, and most commonly a synthetic fragrance. And like you said, the word fragrance can appear on a label and contain an enormous list of ingredients just in the fragrance alone. And that's scary. And you know, and they don't even have to disclose um, what's in it because it's considered a trade secret. So, um, and that, which just means that the product contains some awful ingredients um, that we don't even know about, right? So why even take the risk? It's just, it's just not worth it. You know, these are our precious babies. They are. So, um, I, you covered the household cleaner and you covered the, talking about the soap. Ooh. Um, there you go. Sorry, I got, I got on a roll. I know that's all right. That's all right. We, you know, I love the thieves foaming hand soap too. Um, we have it in most of the sinks. Um, they came out with the, the luscious lemon, which I love. So I, I have that in my bathroom <laughs> and at the kitchen sink. So, um, but we're going to get into talking about the kids sense line, um, which shows here, you know, we're talking about shampoo, the bath gel, the lotion, the toothpaste, um, all have the kid-friendly oil blends and supplements. Um, and you'll just, you'll have a home filled with all the natural oil infused goodness uh, you, you could ever imagine, right? right. Um, and you won't find any mineral oils, synthetic perfumes, artificial colorings, or toxic ingredients in any of these products. Um, and if your kids have a gluten sensitivity, um, I would grab the seedlings line. Uh, it's, it, the seedlings line is, is amazing. Too. I yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. The seedlings line is gluten free. Yep. Um, I love their, their wipes, their wet wipes. I even use those to take my makeup off sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so anyway, you know, it's so the toothpaste is fluoride free which is a really great plus because fluoride is a neurotoxin yep. and you don't need it in your toothpaste. So, yeah. 
And before we go on, um, I just want to, you know, encourage you to ditch those toxic um, air fresheners, uh, the plug-ins and the candles and switch them out for um, a much safer solution, uh, which is a diffuser. Um, inhaling an oil can be so beneficial um, for kids and, and not only for them, but for you, for your whole family. Um, breathing in essential oils directly, meaning like this, neat, it, it influences the control centers of the brain, the hypothalamus, um, and this area sends instructions through our body concerning um, sleep patterns, mood, behavior, appetite, and the release of certain hormones. Um, you're not only making the air smell great, you're supporting your family's bodies which is awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah. All through their nose. Yep. So I would just encourage you to, you know, take a look at the ingredients, flip those, those bottles over or whatever, um, and, and look at the back, the, the labels and, and look at the ingredients and look them up, you know, find out, find out what they're doing. I mean, it's out there. You can, you can find it. So. All right, I guess moving on to um, daily wellness, right? Yeah. Um, so not only is it important to incorporate uh, essential oils, um, it's also important to incorporate supplements into your daily routine. Uh, keeping your body above the wellness line um, isn't just a one and done thing. Like I said before, um, we'll, we'll take a look at these, these favorites. Uh, the Thieves Roll-On. Do you want to talk about that one? So there's pre-made roll-ons that Young Living com has. Um, so you don't have like the easy button, right? Um, and we, this is one I talked about that we have right by the door. So we swipe uh, Captain's feet. Super easy before he puts his shoes on. So this is a good one that you could put right on your spine and you could throw on the feet. But this is just a great um, um, boost uh, of easy button to kind of help with daily wellness. Um, so what is what are the what are your notes say about that? Well, um, I, I just I love the story of thieves anyway because in France during the 15th century. Uh, there were thieves who would sneak into graveyards and rob from the dead and the dying, right? Because what was going on in the 15th century? The bubonic plague. Right. Um, and according to some, they these grave robbers uh, or thieves, whatever you want to call them, um, protected themselves by creating a special blend, aromatic blend, um, composed of clove, rosemary, and other botanicals. And you know those beak masks um, that you see? Uh, what they would do is they would dip cloths into this mixture of oils and they would shove these oils up into those beaks. And they would also put, you know, robes on um, that had been uh, saturated in these oils and, and it was allowing them to go in and, and rob from, um, from the dead people. And you can actually find the, the recipe, and I don't know the name of the of the museum, but the recipe is is in France. And um, Gary Young went over there and he he found that recipe and we have it. There we go. The amazing draw, and beautiful draw thing. your conclusions as to now. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's see, Super C, uh, we have it in capsule form and the chewables. I think for the chewables, it, it's, it's better to give those to the kids. Yeah, um, they are a little tart. Mm -hmm. uh, so Capring is not the biggest fan of those, um, but if you can get your kiddo, like if they like sour stuff, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So. And the thing to know Three about warning. does Kennedy like them? Uh, it's it's kind of a fight. I well, I don't want to say a fight, but um, bribe. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> briber. To, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, we we gotta do what we gotta do. Exactly. I mean, our bodies don't manufacture vitamin C. 
Right. So, um, you know, we we can benefit by consuming um, the the super C uh, antioxidant daily. Um, so, so if your kiddo is into um, things that are a little bit sour, the chewables are good. But if they can swallow pills, the the we do have the the um, the soft. Uh, those aren't soft gels. Those are actual. They're tablets. Uh, um, capsules. So that's, that's an option there. And then we just came out with a vitamin D that is dissolvable. And Caprin actually loves those. Yep. And it's highly absorbable, absorbable too. It's vegan friendly mm -hmm. um, and, and synthetic free. So, so the next slide, we're gonna, I'm going to show you what we use as a vitamin C option for Caprin because right now being, he's a little bit of a stinker about those super Cs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fun. And I mean, these are just great products because they support the immune system. And I mean, not only, I mean, it's very important now um, that we take care of our immune systems. It's, Yes, for sure. So, okay, I think, yep, some of our favorites here. Mm hmm, for sure. So, um, wake up, <laughs> wake up, sleepy head. Yeah. I'm for school. I'm for school. And it doesn't matter if you're one of the lucky ones and you get to go to school or if you're just heading to the living room <laughs> or sitting in your bed. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's important to uh, fill your tummy or their tummies with good nutrition. Yeah. So um, I know according to, what is it? Kidshealth.org, mm -hmm. um, skipping breakfast can make kids feel tired, restless, or irritable. So, you know, in the, in the morning, I mean, their bodies need to refuel for the day ahead after going without food for eight to 12 hours. I mean, they've been, they've been fasting. Um, their mood and energy can drop by mid-morning if they don't eat at least a small morning meal. So, you know, you can offer options that contain protein, fiber, or whole carbs like fresh fruits, veggies, eggs, nuts, lean meats, or healthy grains. Um, and we, or Young Living, has some great options here. Ningxia Red, oh, yeah. love that stuff. Love so it, love it, love it. That's how we get Catherine's vitamin C in right now is through um, the Ningxia Red. <laughs> There you go. Well, there's a lot of good vitamins in in Nisha Red, but that's kind of our um, like the fail safe for vitamin C. I wish he would do the Super C, but right now we got to take what we can get. <laughs> right. Oh well, no, I hear you. I mean, Nisha Red is is awesome. I love it. I love it. I just I can't go up without it myself. So um, I mean, you know, yeah, jumpstart their cognitive. Um, engines, right? Along yep. with ours. Yep. Ningxia Red is a powerful whole body uh, su supplement. Um, it's loaded with superfoods that support normal eye health, um, energy levels, and the immune system. Again, another great immune system supplement. Uh, it contains the whole Ningxia wolfberry puree um, plus aronia, uh, cherry, blueberry, plum, pomegranate, juices and extracts, um, as well as lemon, orange, yuzu, and tangerine um, essential oils. So it's, it's packed with antioxidants and so very beneficial to you and your, your kids' health. And what's great about anything with high in antioxidants is it's going to attack what's called your free radicals in your body. And what that is, is free radicals attack your healthy, uh, attack your um, healthy cells. So if you have a bunch of, think of it like this, you have some bad guys attacking your good guys. So you want your, you're going to have your antioxidants coming in and getting rid of all those bad guys and just kind of erasing them with an eraser. So think of Nisha Red as that fighter to come in and 
and fight those bad guys and you know, erase them from your body. So that's kind of what I've told Catherine all along. Um, he started out with those packets uh, with basically with a straw, kind of like a juice box when he was like 15 months um, or in a sippy cup and, you know, and then, you know, to a, like a juice box. And he has uh, always drank Nisha Red and I'm so thankful we started him super young like that because now he craves it. Um, yep. I, I mean, he probably would drink it all day if, if I let him. Um, but you really only need one, like two, two to four ounces a day. And those packets are two ounces. I mean, at his age, probably one to two ounces. Um, but those, two, those packets are two ounces. So I just give him a packet. And now he's big enough to eat. We, we all drink it in a shot glass out of the wine bottle size. Um, so I'll ask him, you want a packet or you want a glass like mommy, you want like a wine, you know, like a shot glass like mommy. So yeah. sometimes he wants a shot like mommy. <laughs> um, and so we'll do that in the morning and we'll cheers, you know, and it's kind of fun. Um, but another thing that we really love, and I'm sure they're in your notes, Carrie, is those um, Kids Sense vitamins. Um, mm -hmm. The Mighty Vites are like the kids' multivitamin and they're berry flavor. And um, about two, one to maybe last year, they re, well, maybe two years ago now, they reformulated the flavor to this berry flavor. And Catherine really, really likes them now. So now that he's five, he can take two. Um, and they are jam packed full of like a good multivitamin um, and a good vitamin C in those as well. Yeah. And the orange ones are enzymes. Um, yeah. So Kennedy does the Mighty Bites too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, she does. Yeah. And the good thing about them is they're free of, uh, free from um, um, preservatives and artificial colors and flavorings, which is, is awesome. So. Which is awesome. And, you know, we were on vacation with um, our neighbors and <laughs> since I was giving Capron his vitamins, um, Keegan wanted, you know, wanted some too. So I was like, yep, I brought the whole bottle because it was easier just to bring the bottle. So I was like, yep, Keegan can have some too. He, he did have them and he's like, well, these they're, you know, so they do taste like vitamins. Um, so I'm, you know, to just give your, give you a fair warning for your kiddos, but, but they're not like sugary, like another brand of like, you know, that are shaped like a character of the cartoon. Um, but they are free from those sugars and those preservatives. So you can feel good about giving them to your kids. Um, but they are tasty. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, you know, tell you that. Um, so unlike the super C's that are sour, because <laughs> I have a hard time doing the super C's. I just want to put that out there. Um, mm -hmm. These are actually tasty, but they do taste like a vitamin. Yeah. So. And then the orange ones are um, enzymes, the mighty zymes. And enzymes are so, so, so important for your digestive health. And I am so thankful that Capron's now started to um, like these <laughs> because yeah. enzymes are so important to break down your um, food. Um, and we as adults, like you're born with how many enzymes you're going to be born with. And if you don't replenish your enzymes, like you really are not getting the nutritional value from your food. Um, if you don't have enzymes, without enzymes, you can't breathe, swallow, or drink, or eat, or digest that's, food. Exactly. And people don't understand why they're not, you know, thriving and why they're not, why they're hungry all the time. Well, obviously, because if you don't replenish your enzymes, you're not actually getting any nutrition right? You're not actually breaking down the food that you're eating. So um, starting your kids young on great products and like, so I'll leave this part here. Our supplements are essential oil infused. So I know Carrie mentioned that uh, Nisha Red had tangerine and um, um, I forget the other ones, lemon, and there's another oil that's only in um, Nisha Red, Yuzu, okay. your orange and Yuzu, orange. Yuzu, yeah, and tangerine. And mm -hmm. what's really cool is our our supplements also have essential oils in them. And why that is is because if we put oils in our supplements, they make them what's called more bioavailable, mm -hmm. and your body's able then to break them down because oils are so so tiny. So most often you take supplements and then you, excuse my language, pee or poop them out because your body can't break them down because the molecules of your vitamins are so big that you're just wasting your money. I'll just be honest. 
So if you put essential oils, Gary Young and our chief scientist, Dr. Book, so, so smart, right? That they put tiny, tiny essential oil product, uh, oils in with the goodness that are the lovely, beautiful supplements, other supplementy stuff in them. <laughs> Look at that, was so sciencey. But because then your body can break the, down the goodness that is and then absorb them into your um, actual like guts. <laughs> Look at, I took bioavailable and I made it like digestible into your brains. So um, that is so exciting. And now, you know, for your small kiddos, like chewable vitamins that they're going to start as a kid incorporating like that makes me so happy and empowered as a mama to like Capron takes vitamins and I, I go on my Facebook and I share how many vitamins he takes and I bet you I have friends that are like I cannot believe your kid takes that many vitamins but it's because he needs them because his food is probably not his diet you know kids mm -hmm. but also our diets these days are depleted of what they probably need and he needs these vitamins, but I'm setting him up for success, A for his day for school, but as an adult, he's already started this routine of getting good, healthy habits. Cause yeah. I only took those little tiny, probably sugar things and mm -hmm. not even very consistently, not yeah. knocking my mama, but I just, I wasn't a part of our thing. But now he's done that ever since 15 months taking Nisha Red. Yeah. And I don't know if we have um, the probiotic somewhere coming up, maybe. It might be coming up, but yeah. we have a probiotic um, called Mighty Pro. Yeah, um, it's coming up. Yeah. So, okay. Sorry, I got on, I got on another roll. No worries. Um, as you can see here, we have the Einkorn line. Um, and these the the flake the cereals the einkorn pancake and waffle mix um and the granola uh it's made with whole ancient grain einkorn and oat bran um uh the i love love the einkorn flake cereal I, i'll eat that stuff plain without any almond milk <laughs> i can snack on that on the cereal it they are so good um, they're lightly sweetened with um, coconut sugar. Uh, it has a high, higher levels of protein, trace minerals, and lower gluten levels than hybridized modern wheat. Um, the granola is another good one. I just, I love the granola. It can be served hot or cold. I like doing it um, uh, um, muesli. I, I lived in Germany for a few years, so we ate a lot of muesli for for breakfast and it was just um you mix that granola muesli with um with yogurt and and i love mixing yogurt yogurt with the einkorn granola or just you know putting it in a jar and eating it as is um it, it's it's so yummy um it's sweetened by the combination of wolf berries cranberries cacao nibs um, and coconut sugar. Um, it's not overly processed uh, um, with ingredients like refined sugars, high fructose, high fructose corn syrup, um, artificial flavors, and colors. So that's an awesome thing. Um, the pancake and waffle mix um, combines the ancient einkorn flour with um, some other wholesome grains and legumes. Uh, into an easy to use mix um, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So simple, simple, easy, easy. And then the protein bites. Um, I haven't personally tried the protein bites. Um, I know you have. I they think, are right? very tasty. Yeah, I need to get those. Um, but I mean, I don't know, just looking no, at them. Very, they are a yeah, they're a blueberry lemon. Um, th yeah, they're they're just like they sound. Blueberry lemon and it's a little square. That's just perfect for a snack or a little breakfast. So, yeah. So I think we're off to school now, right? We are off to school. Perfect. Awesome. So 
again, some kids may be going out the door and going to the school building and others may be just heading to the home school room, um, whether that's a desk in their room or the table in the kitchen. <laughs> Either way, they still need support. So um, let's talk about these for a minute. Um, the Thieves hand sanitizer comes in two sizes. Um, I love the, the larger one um, because I keep that pump in my, in my car actually. So when I've been out and about, the first thing I do when I get in the car is get a quick pump from that thing. Um, and then, you know, also going into the store, I love the little bottle because you can just toss it in your backpack and, um, yeah, I, I just, I always had one in her backpack and, and remind her daily, you know, before you eat, use your thieves hand sanitizer. <laughs> so, and it smells so good and it's not, it's not drying. Um, like a lot of the other um, hand sanitizers that are out there. Um, and I know some of them have had some not so great, I don't wanna say reviews, but it's come out recently how bad they are. Right, so, some sneaky chemicals. Yeah, again, again, and with the Thieves hand sanitizer, 99.9% .9 of the germs um, uh, are eliminated and, and harmful bacteria as well. Um, it, again, it's plant-based using essential oils. It, it's a light moisturizer, uh, it has aloe vera and vegetable glycerin. Um, it doesn't leave that yucky chemical like residue like some of those other brands do. Um, and there are, there, there's no petrochemicals, um, uh, no mineral oil, parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetic fragrances, dyes, preservatives, or toxic ingredients in the Thieves. The Thieves is amazing. I mean, the Thieves line is just amazing. If you didn't use anything, you know, Thieves line is awesome. Um, and then the Thieves spray is, is another good one. Um, you know, have them, another one to keep in the backpack. And when they go to the bathroom, they can spray the toilet seat with it or spray the handles. I don't go anywhere without thief spray. Um, I actually spray down my car steering wheel and yep. the car seat. And it's, yeah, I sprayed my mask today. Yeah. <laughs> I got back, you know, to help uh, me. Yeah. When I was at my work meeting, like to help me get some fresh air. So, I mean, this is just a really great on the go spray carts and door handles and desk keyboard and desks and mice. And I mean, before all of this, like literally is everywhere to spray every surface on the go. It is perfect. Yeah. Mice. We're talking about computer mice. <laughs> computer mice. Yes. Computer mice. Yes. So, um, and then the new thing here is the, the aroma rings. I, I'm in love with those things. Yeah, I think they're out of stock. I don't know if they're going to come back in stock, um, but they are really, really handy if they do come back in for when you have to put on a mask. Yeah, my favorite, um, Kennedy's favorite is the, is the lavender. So, but they're amazing. Just stick it. It's like a nose ring. You can barely see it. It's clear. I mean, you, you can see the picture in here, but um, it's, They've been, uh, I don't know, infused. I mean, you can. Yeah, they've been like soaked in lavender. Yeah, yeah. And when I get home, if I've, if I've had to wear a mask um, or if I'm going to the gym or whatever, uh, when I'm finished with it, I just rinse it off in the sink and dry it. And then I'll put it back in the pouch and, and it absorbs, absorbs the oil. So awesome. Um, what do we have here? Uh, in Valor. Yeah. Wands. So again, yeah. Stress Away in Valor. Okay. So just pre-made rollers. So Carrie and I talked about how easy to just um, roll and roll and go. <laughs> but these are ones you don't have to make yourself and they just come ready to go. So Stress Away is a favorite of many. 
Um, <laughs> and we know school can be stressful. So if you have your kiddos going, you're go, they, it's stressful for you, it's stressful for them. You can throw this in their backpack. Um, you can roll it before, you can send it with them um, for wrists, for backs of necks, for ears, yeah. um, for feet, for wherever, wherever, um, for drop off, for pickup, for yes, for all the things, stress. Valor is a great one for bravery um, and Valor would be my go-to. Stress away is not Jess's favorite. I will tell <laughs> you. Um, it smells very, very vanilla-y, but it is one of Carrie's favorite, right? I love it. Yeah, it's that vanilla and lime. I just, I, I love it. Um, so those two um, are really, really great to have maybe in your school room next to your school computer if you're doing uh, virtual learning or um, homeschool like we're going to do. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, some good ones to have on hand. I don't know if um, if it'll show them, but some good ones. Clarity. I love clarity and putting it back here on the back of your neck. That is them. It's so awesome. Yeah, I love clarity. It's a, it's a blend um, of basil, rosemary, peppermint, um, and other essential oils. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a great one to diffuse, especially during the day if, you know, they're sitting at home. Put the diffuser, put some clarity, and it just, yeah, it's, it's really good for them. And the kids this line, um, we have Genius. That's another good one. Um, I know Kennedy, she'll get it, and um, sometimes she'll wear a diffuser bracelet, and she'll put it on her diffuser bracelet, or she has a necklace, or, um, you know, again, she'll put it on the back of the neck, uh, or on her wrist, so and the genius is, is pre-diluted, so it's, it's a nice one. Brain power. Um, and the brain power. Yeah. Brain power is one of my favorite oils right now. It's right next is it? Time. Yeah. But brain power is another one that promotes uh, clarity and focus. Um, so for your older kids, that's a good one. Um, or even, you know, even for the littles, it's, it's a good one. It's good for mamas that are teaching. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Slather it on. <laughs> yes. That's the one I Pepper put on my brainstem. Yeah. Peppermint's another good one because it's stimulating. Um, and, you know, when, when they're doing homework, peppermint, get peppermint on the wrist or in the diffuser because it just, it kind of opens up the senses. So... Yep, the good yeah. one would be peppermint, maybe peppermint and lemon because it's a it's a happy oil, it's an awakening oil, and then lemon is really good to help um, with memory. So yep. that's a good one to um, diffuse while you're studying, and then obviously peppermint to like wake it all up so people aren't yep. going to get sleepy. Absolutely. All right, next on to the nighttime care. There we go. There's Mighty Pro. Yeah. So I don't know if this is the best time of the day, but for busy moms and dads, um, it can be a relief to kind of get the kids back into bed. <laughs> but um, uh, now that everybody's made it through the day, um, we can talk about the nighttime routine um, to stay well this season um, because it's going to be very important to make sure that our bodies are well rested and um, while, while we sleep, right? So um, according to, and I'm just going to read this straight from, uh, according to Rachel Doc Dawkins, she's an MD with Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Uh, sleep is an essential part of everyone's routine, which we already knew, um, and an indispensable part of a healthy lifestyle. We know that. And studies have shown that kids who regularly get an adequate amount of sleep have improved attention, behavior, learning, memory, and overall mental and physical health. So, and like, you know, not getting enough sleep just leads to a whole bunch of stuff like uh, you know, high blood pressure, obesity, um, and even depression, right? If you're not getting enough sleep, uh, Children from ages six to 12 should be getting nine to 12 hours. I wish I could get nine to 12 hours of sleep. 
Um, children from ages 13 to 18 sh should be getting eight to 10 hours a night. Um, so establishing a consistent bedtime routine is so very important. Um, and starting at the same time every night, get everybody on a schedule, on a routine. Uh, stop use of electronics um, at least an hour before bedtime. Read a short book. Uh, limit caffeine or just mix it all together. Um, take a warm bath or a warm shower. Um, dim the lights and use your oils and supplements. Um, and yeah, you're reading that right. Oils and supplements um, should be a part of your bedtime routine. Uh, to help care for you and, and your kids' bodies while resting. Um, I've never thought about giving Catherine Mighty Pro at night, but this makes so much sense because they encourage us to take Life 9 at night. Yeah. Because your belly is not digesting anything else. So we are going to start that. Are you? Yeah. Because yeah, we usually give it, I usually give it to him in the morning. We do too. So this makes so much sense to do it at and, night. And you know, the good thing, the Mighty Pro, um, uh, so we do it in the morning and kids should get one and it tastes like a pixie sticks. So you adults out there, if you remember pixie sticks, that's what the Mighty Pro tastes like. Um, and I'll do one in the morning with her and then I'll do one in the evening. So for adults, it's it's two. Adults can take two, but for the kids, just give them one. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna take give him from this. We'll switch it to at night, and then I'll remember my life nine because I always forget to take my life nine. But I don't. I don't know. If, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because I never thought about that. This, is, this slide is interesting to me because maybe it's better to give it to him while his belly is sleeping. Yeah. I don't know. And I never thought about that either because, I mean, you think give it in the morning. Yeah. To help well, him stay his to, breakfast. Yeah. So, but cool. Okay. All right. Moving I right. I haven't seen this chart yet. Yeah. So she mentioned the Life 9. It's a... Uh, it's a proprietary high potency probiotic um, that combines 17 billion live cultures from nine beneficial bacteria strains and helps promote healthy digestion. So that one definitely, I knew that to take that one at, at, at night. So it supports gut health as well as maintains normal intestinal function for overall support of a healthy immune system. Again, with the uh, you know, again with the immune system, it's huge. Yep. And did you know that your second brain is in your gut? Yeah. Most of your immune system is actually in your belly. Yeah. So if you have a healthy gut, you will have a healthy immune system. So you have to take care of your belly. Yeah. So and if I baby's second, if your second brain is in your belly, why wouldn't you want to take care of your kiddo's brain, which is their second brain is in their tummy, right? So that's why this is so important yeah. for their gut health. And the new one here is the Unwind. Um, it's a, uh, a kid-friendly uh, magnesium supplement. Uh, it helps promote a calm state, reduces restlessness, and eases occasional irritability and sleeplessness and improves focus and mental clarity. So that's a good one. Yep. I want to try. I actually like taking it with tea. <laughs> yeah, so it actually has um, one of the um, things in tea, right? In a, in a, um, like a chamomile tea. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't think of the, like if you're a tea drinker, it's actually one of the like extracts of a chamomile tea or something. Yeah. One of those tea words. Yeah. Right. The yeah. rutabaga, sorry. Yes. The so, rutabaga and the tranquil. Do you want to talk about those two? Um, rutabaga is rue, it's valerian, and it's um, rutabaga. It's three oils, right? 
Um, oh my can't. goodness, it's getting a little bit late for me. Um, yeah. um, I know. Okay, so it's a one of these are two rollers. They're great nighttime rollers. <laughs> Already, they're nighttime. And yeah. what's great about this one is it's awesome. It is like instant sleep. But I will tell you, Rudabala, because it has valerian in it, it is kind of smells like stinky feet. So you want to put it on your feet because that's a great place to put it, and then put your socks on. Yeah. If yeah. Not do the smell of valerian oh it's lavender so it's rue it's lavender it's valerian those are the three oils yeah <laughs> came to me but um i don't mind the smell of valerian i'll even put it in my diffuser i'm a weirdo i don't do um, that. but some people cannot do valerian i've actually put valerian on my feet one time and Catherine was like mommy what is that smell <laughs> So I won't do that anymore because he was like, that stinks. But I would have put it in the diffuser and that doesn't bother him. Sometimes in the diffuser, it's a little more diluted. But yeah. And then Tranquil is one of my all-time favorite um, pre-diluted roll-ons next to Valor um, because it is actually so, so, so dreamy. Um, I actually have this one in my kitchen just to kind of grab because I'm 100% I'm telework. And it is just great to grab when I'm on meetings and walking around the house just to kind of calm down. But this is a great one to grab at night if you, especially if you don't want to do the stinky valerian. <laughs> and for the kids, we have sleepy eyes. So yeah. sleepy eyes is a good one. Put it on their wrists yeah. or lavender. What I do is I just put lavender in the palm of my hand. And when I was, when she was younger, sometimes I'll still do it, but I'll just like, you know, put it all around her her face and her neck and rubber pillows and yeah. And then the seedling calm is good. Peace and calming is good to diffuse or, you know, roll on the feet. Um, yeah. Or um, put in the diffuser. So, yeah. All right. So what happens if you fall below that wellness line? What shall you reach for? Don't worry. We got you covered there too. Let's yep. run through these because yep. we're going to stay so far above the wellness line that we're just going to need these in a pinch. So we'll go quick on these. Yeah. Okay. So the Emu Pro is a good one to take before you go to bed. Um, it provides zinc and selenium to support uh, immune function along with other chelated minerals and delivers melatonin, which encourages restful sleep. Don't take this one in the middle of the day. Do not take this one, Carrie Capus. I did make that mistake. Yes, I said that has melatonin in it. She's like, man, I am so tired. I, like, yeah, I know. I no, what'd you do? I took an Emu Pro. Uh, yeah. I think we were <laughs> traveling somewhere, and she's like, we I'm, an Pro. I'm so tired. I said, girl, that has melatonin. So yes, take that one at night. <laughs> if you are traveling, this is a chewable, so it's a good one to take, like, bring around if you are traveling, if you're going on road trips or something. This is a good one to take. Even though it does say below the wellness lines, if you're going on like travel trips for like road trips or something, this is a good one to pack. Oh yeah. You want to keep the immune system up. It's easy to pack, um, but yeah, take it for nighttime. Yeah, inner defense is another great one. Do mm -hmm. I can't go without that one? It has to be in stock here. Like, I I will not go without yeah. inner defense. Um, yeah. It reinforces the uh, systemic defensive. Um, and which creates an unfriendly, unfriendly terrain for yeast fungus. Uh, it promotes healthy respiratory function and it contains potent essential oils like oregano, thyme, and thieves, so, which are rich in thymol, um, carvacrol, <laughs> sorry, and eugenol. Um, again, for, for immune support. And then there's the mineral essence, uh, which is a cool tip about uh, inner defense. I know we said we're going to go okay. back. So yeah, inner defense is, um, a, the, has a lot of hot oils in it. So in it, it's in a gel cap. Um, it's a long gel cap. But this one, if your kiddos fall below the wellness line, you're, you're obviously they're not going to be able to swallow it. But you can open it up and put it on their feet. Yep. And then put it, it in half. Um, because you're going to want to use this because it's amazing. 
So you can put that on the bottoms of their feet. And then the same thing, Carrie's going to tell you about mineral essence. Um, she's going to tell you everything that's in it. It tastes pretty bad. <laughs> it is so good for you. You need it in your life. Um, but that one you can also put on the bottoms of kiddos' feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. over to you. Yeah, so you talk about that one. Um, it's a, the mineral essence is a full spectrum ionic mineral complex. Um, again, it has the essential oils um, and you, it can be added to drinks. So you might want to put it in a juice if you're giving it to a kid or like Jess said, um, put it on the bottoms of their feet and have them rub their feet together. I uh, put it in some applesauce. You could do that, but it does have cinnamon bark in it. So Capron was on to me. <laughs> that it, he's like this is hot this is spicy so he was kind of like nope but like kennedy might you might be able to get away with it with kennedy but he was on to me so mm -hmm. it just depends on the kiddo and the age of the kiddo but um marcella von harding our role from diamond she said she with her kiddos they would actually go through a bottle of mineral essence when her kids were young a piece i think it took them like a month um, she'd get them a bottle a month and they would actually, she put it in their applesauce and it was, that's, that's how they had, she had Dallas and Courtney on mineral essence was in their applesauce. So I tried it with Cap, but the cinnamon was a little too spicy for him. Um, so now we just do it on his feet when he does get below the well. Hmm. That's so. a good, good idea. Okay. I know I said that. Yeah, so the the two good of tips. I'm sorry. Yep. The thieves chest rub, which I love. Um, and it, you just roll it on your chest. Uh, it helps with, um, it helps soothe, uh, coughs and sniffles and congestion. Um, again, it's the thieves. So. Yep. And it's over the counter. Yep. The breathe again roller. I love carrying this one with me in my pocketbook. Um, but again, it's one that I use on, on, on her, uh, when she starts to get that you know, that stuff. She needs to breathe again. Yep. Breathe again. Yep. Um, and then there's a, the kid scent oil. It's already pre-diluted. It's called Sniffly's. That's a good one. And then, um, tummy jives is another pre-diluted blend, um, that helps with tummy dis discomfort. So good one to have on hand. Um, Oh, sorry. I turned already. All right. Then there's the Digize Vitality, um, which you um, you can drop in water or you can just rub it on your belly. Uh, it helps with the digestive system and it includes antioxidant properties. So great. Vi uh, Thieves Vitality supports the immune system. It cleans the cleanses the digestive system. Um, and again, it contains anti antioxidant properties. And the Thieves Vitality, actually, if you start to get that itchy feeling in your throat, um, I love to get a mug of hot water. And I don't heat water up in the microwave. I heat it up on the stove. Um, but I'll heat up uh, some water, put it in a mug, and I'll, I'll drop two, two, well, for me, two or three drops of the Thieves Vitality and drink it. And, and just smelling it, inhaling it, it just opens things up. And it's, it's amazing. Love it. Yep, and you could even put the thieves in some honey and then put some yep. water over it, especially if you're new to oils and the thieves with the cinnamon is too strong for you. You could just do that. Yep. Kind of help dilute it a little bit. Yeah, for sure. And then you have Copaiba Vitality, um, which supports general wellness. And then the Lemon Vitality uh, has antioxidant properties. It supports the immune system. Um, it provides circulatory support and contains cleansing properties. Um, yeah, I, I love putting lemon vitality in my water. So, all right, emotions. Right. Emotions. And we know that with school, you know. Emotions can be. Yeah, ah. a range of emotions, fear, anxiety, excitement, you name it. Um, and I know, you know, some kids are, are nervous about nervous or afraid of jumping into, you know, new rhythm, new teachers, new friends, you know, maybe they're switching schools and it's just new. Um, so 
we have essential oils that will help um, with those emotions. So yeah, make sure you gather your oily supplies for those. And the aroma rings will help with that. The calm, the, uh, the, uh, her, the her is good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then these are some of our CBD um, yep. rollers that are for calming. Yeah, right? actually, yeah, the, um, uh, yeah, it's all right. If you don't have the CBD, CBD calm, you can, you can make your own lavender calm or liquid calm roller and um, mix uh, 10 drops of lavender, three drops of valor, three drops of stress away, th two drops of patchouli and two drops of vetiver into a 10 milliliter roller bottle and top it with a carrier oil, like, um, I don't know, whatever, uh, coconut oil or sweet almond oil um, or the Young Living B6 and you've got yourself a nice little little uh, calm roller. How's that? Oh, and a thing about the, the CBD um, roll-on, the calm, um, it has 0.0% of THC. So no worries about, you know, flying high. <laughs> yeah, and I've used the, um, the 300 milligram because obviously Capron is small uh, on Capron. And because there's no THC, the seed to seal, um, I trust it to not have anything other than just hemp. Um, and it is good to go. So mm -hmm. one seems to help us. Um, Capron's a pretty good boy. We don't really have huge tantrums, but if he needed to, if I felt the need to help him with like big feelings and Valor wasn't doing the trick, we would reach for calm um, sometimes. We need that, so we have the 300 in our toolkit, 300 milligram in our toolbox. Yeah, and we can, you know, <clears throat> if you need recipes or anything like that, we have tons of, of roller recipes that we can help. Um, you know, I'll just give you a, a quick uh, back to school diffuser recipe would be a homework helper. Um, would be three drops of, well, there you go. Three drops of lemon, mm -hmm. three drops of clarity, two drops of peppermint, and put it in your diffuser with some water, and they're amazing. I mean, it just smells amazing. Your house will smell amazing, and you're getting all the benefits from those oils, so. Yep. I think next up, we've got some roller recipes, right? So I know we've yep. been talking about rollers, right? Mm -hmm. A lot about rollers. So we've got some back to school roller recipes. Yep. What would you say your favorite one on this list would be, Carrie? Oh, my favorite would probably have to be the. Ugh. You know, the just chill. <laughs> and I say that because. Um, and it's funny that this recipe is actually on here because at the time we had no idea. So two, two year, or was it, it, it was either last year or the year before, um, we had some kids over and um, they were making uh, rollers. And I think it was like the weekend before Mother's Day and Kennedy made me a roller and she put together peace and calming and stress away. And, and yeah, and she gave it to me and it smells amazing. I, and yeah, I, I think it's funny that they have this recipe in here because we've never seen it before. I would have never put stress away and peace and calming together, but it smells, it smells great. So right now I am pretty sleepy. <laughs> so <laughs> one that's calling my attention would be rest easy um, because uh, lavender, Roman chamomile, and cedarwood sound pretty amazing to me. Yeah. And um, we are jumping headfirst into homeschool next week, Monday. Um, so I think tomorrow, maybe Catherine and I can make that one um, to kind of help us ease into our homeschool routine. Um, and if we can make us a roller, then we can start a uh, nighttime routine with our new rest easy roller so we can remember this class. Yep, for sure. That'll be fun. 
So, all right, let's move on to the, uh, the Nisha Red recipes. Okay, so Vitality Capsules and Nisha Red recipes. Oh, I love that, this slide. That's such a cute graphic. Okay. Yeah. So capsules, um, you can get vegetable, ca like veggie capsules, and you can make, you know, your own little, like, they kind of look like little pills. Mm -hmm. um, these are upset temmies, I guess, um, you know, bust the yuckies, and then kind of keeping calm. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go. There's some make your own capsules. So you can screenshot that. And then here are some really fun recipes for Nisha Red. Oh yeah, I love the red gummies, the Nisha Red gummies. Yes, those are super fun. We've made those before. You can grab um, all different kind of um, like molds on Amazon, right? Those are super cool. Yeah. yeah. And then smoothies and, um, and then even just little shots like we had talked about. Um, Mm -hmm. Different oils you can put in shots, little shots for in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we make Nisha Red popsicles. So those are really fun to make too, to add to your Nisha Red recipes. Okay, so I don't, do you see any, I think, I think this is the last slide. Do you have, oh, how to get the best price. So yep. we'll just kind of quickly go over that. Um, so obviously the best way to get a price, get the how to get the best price is to obviously become a wholesale member um, and reach out to, if you're not already, to Carrie or I. Um, we're gonna post some graphics in the event and we will share our links with you guys. But obviously you want to become a member with Young Living and that's the best way to become, um, like to get the best deal. Um, because in retail you're gonna pay 24% more um, rather than, yeah. yeah, so we have kits and we can share more information um, with each of you yep. on that. So that's probably good in a nutshell. Yeah, yep. we've been Best cool. Best okay. going. get that, get one of those kits. Okay, sharing with friends and teachers. So we are obviously sharing with you um, what we've learned along our journey. And what's really, really great is when you become a member with Young Living, um, you get the benefit to share with family and friends. You're gonna get a member link um, and we will help you find that. Um, and you can do exactly what we're doing. And you can share and Young Living will help you, um, we'll get you a little, we'll get you help. Blah. What am I gonna say? You will get a, Thank you check from Young Living um, and that will help you pay for either your oils or your essential rewards, your loyalty subscription, your wellness subscription box. And it's really, really fun. You become a part of our oily community and we can teach you how to have access to these types of classes and do these Zooms and it'll be super cool. So mm -hmm. that's that in a nutshell, right? That's it, yeah. And I know, I'm sorry this went so long. Um, there's just so much information, you know, to share with you guys. And I mean, obviously we, we both love, 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 love Young Living. So we yes. just say thanks for, for sticking with us and joining, joining us. Yep. And we, with that, you know, I'll just echo Carrie's thank you. Thank you for your um, attendance. Thank you for your patience and we will see you next time. Yes. Have a good night, everybody. Good night or good morning. <laughs>